don't know what number I'm up to, but next one is karma. Even if you don't believe in karma, what a wonderful world it would be if we all practiced it. Think about it. The golden rule, do unto others as you have them do unto you. If you believe that karma was real, you couldn't steal, you couldn't cheat, you couldn't even speed, you couldn't think bad thoughts, you couldn't say anything behind somebody's back, because karma is going to get you. When I started to live my life as though karma was real, things changed. Other ones I'm thinking about, the law of attraction. Practice it and watch miracles happen in your life. Give more than you receive. If you're somebody who does give, you do know. <clears throat> and if you're somebody who's not, new concept, try it out. Another one. Stress kills. Oh, I learned this one firsthand. And it doesn't have to be negative stress. I had the most wonderful experience having created the spin gym, this little object that nobody wanted, that I believed in so strongly, home shopping had offered me what's called a today's special. That is their highest honor. They do 364 of them a year. And it's basically a one day Groupon type sale where you need to sell about a million to $3 million worth of your product in 24 hours. It's a great honor. It's a great deal of stress. I had been selling about 60 or 70,000 spin gyms the first two years I was in business. And here they did put an order in for 75,000 spin gyms that I was to sell in one day. Good and bad, yes. Seems like a wonderful opportunity. Until you have to write the check to buy the spin gyms to someone in China that I had never met. That check was bigger than my mortgage on my entire house and it scared me to no end. Even the fears though weren't real but it didn't matter. It scared me. It kept me up at night wondering was the guy actually going to make my product? When the product was on the water from China was it going to sink? Did I have enough insurance? Would I be able to actually sell that many? And on and on and on. And every night my head would spin with fear of the unknown. I think many of us have a tremendous fear of the unknown. And I wonder, does it keep you up at night? Does it turn in your stomach? Do you worry? Worry is a form of stress. And I'll go back to my first thought. Stress kills. I know firsthand. I know as I lay dying in a bed in New York City, 2,000 miles away from my family on March 20th, that I was about to lose everything because of stress. In addition to selling the 75,000, I had taken it upon myself to prove the theory that Spin Gym worked. Here was my hypothesis, that you could not go on a diet, but simply write down the food that you ate every day for 10 weeks, share that food journal daily with someone else, read theirs, not comment on it, exercise for about three times a day intensely with spin gym for five minutes, and add in some cardio during the week. Just simple walking, swimming, just moving your body. That you could in fact lose weight. I did not know how much, but I had a theory that this would work. I took 30 people on this journey with me. 30 people that a dear friend of mine had found, some she was working with, somewhere in the community, they all had one thing in common. They were overweight and unhappy. 
I did discover something very interesting with people, at least the 30 that showed up for me. They were not only overweight, but they were in fact unhappy. And they were unhappy not about the weight, although that bothered all of them, but about something deeper. They had things that bothered them. They had been molested. They had felt screwed over. Their parents abused them. They were lost. They were hurt. I came up with a conclusion that you can't get it off your ass until you get it off your chest. That became one of our mottos. I learned so much from these people. 